Alright guys, so I'm back with yet another unboxing, uh, another quick upgrade that I'm going to do with my build. Um, this time it's going to be the OCZ 120GB Vertex 3 solid state drive. And I'm upgrading from the Western Digital 1TB SATA 3 hard drive this time. Alright, so let's have a look what you get. It's still in the packaging. I just picked this up yesterday. Um, here... You can't really see that, um, but I'll read it for you. Um, so it's got read and write. Uh, read is 550 megabytes per second. Uh, write is up to 500 megabytes per second. Okay, and it is 60,000 uh, IOPS. And that's about it that we need to know. Um, why I got this? Because it uses SATA 3, and it does almost max out the SATA 3 uh, interface. Uh, being maxed out, it's about roughly 600, but this does it at 550. Um, yeah, for the read speed. So, I'm going to do a quick install again, and then I'm just going to give my personal opinion on how fast it is. Is it worth buying? And... Yeah, is it worth your money in the end? Alright, so let's go right away. I just opened the pack. Um, it comes with an installation guide. And on the back here, it does have the warranty. And it does remind you to keep your receipt uh, for the data purchase. And it's a three-year three -year warranty there. So keep that just in case. Because with SSDs, I've been reading a little bit. Uh, with the Vertex 2, it did have a few problems there, uh, so hopefully with the SAT 3, I didn't find any problems uh, in the forms, mostly just, you know, people not knowing how to install it, but I don't know, maybe I'll have a problem, I'll let you guys know. It does come with this fancy ass sticker here, you can put it on if you like, you can put it on the back of your friend if you want to, be kind of a waste, but for me... I mean, I don't, I don't use stickers. Yeah. <clears throat> so with the packaging, let's go get into this better lighting here. Uh, with the packaging, it does come with this foam sort of hard case, and right here would be the bracket. I'm just gonna go back. Make it a little easier for myself. Take this out. Alright, so this is a three and a half bracket, uh, just in case you're rocking those one of those old school chassis. Uh, I can't take it out of the bag, but you guys can have a look. Pretty thin profile. It does come with this nice OCZ technology sort of branding on it. Alright. And inside we find the Vertex 3 um, SSD. Really nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Alright, so this is the SSD, really. Super, super light. Oh my goodness. This is my first time ever buying SSD. So, getting my hands on one, this really feels like... Like nothing was it. And I paid, I forgot to mention, I paid... um. Uh, 270 for this and really I hope the technology went into making this because it doesn't feel like much but yeah there we go alright so I'm gonna install it um, and then I'll let you guys know what I think compared to my old school hard drive here alright I'll be back Alright guys, so I just finished installing um, the Vertex 3 from OCZ and I ran the OTTO disk benchmark and these are the results that I got. Hopefully you guys can see that on my computer screen. Um, it's completely mind-blowing how fast this thing is. Um, and I just checked on... Um, online 
some of the benchmarks that, you know, some of the reviews that other people did. And this one here is from Tweaktown. And let's just do a side by side comparison. And it's pretty much exactly, exactly the same. So here you guys can look at the read and write speeds. Um, it's within the margin of error. I mean, I got a little bit higher on some of the higher reads or the or the bigger ones or the bigger files, I'd say. Um, but roughly, roughly the same. Uh, my setup here. I'm using the Sandy Bridge uh, 2600K. Uh, my motherboard is. The Gigabyte UD7. Uh, my RAM is the Mushkin 2x2 at 1600 megahertz. Uh, black line, I believe. And my cooler is the H70. My video card is the 560 Hawk Edition from MSI. Um, extremely crazy uh, for this for this Vertex OCZ Vertex 3 um, it was crazy crazy I mean just the experience of a SSD myself for the first time I mean it's such a big upgrade a lot of people have been saying it but it is true this is definitely worth uh, every penny that I put into it especially with the $30 uh, instant rebate that I got uh, for 270 um, completely different computer uh, I'd say it's a lot faster um, installation was a breeze um, I have my my cards I don't think you can see it but it's at the bottom one uh, I have my hard drive on top uh, reason why I did that is because this, the hard drive uh, it does get a little bit hot, so I just, you know, put it on top as hot air rises. Uh, but if you guys have any questions on um, anything else, just let me know. Okay, peace.